is a Pomeranian named Simba. I was asked to trim Simba's hair as short as I can without damaging his coat. So we're going to do that and you'll see the very shortest that I am willing to trim a Pomeranian's coat. Let's get busy. I like to use eye groom squalling care products on my Pomeranians. I find that this gives me the best conditioning treatment for the coats and it allows me to get this shedding under coat out with ease. The bath and blow dry is the most important part of the entire broom. I sink my hose right down to the skin and allow the water to push from the skin out. I put the shampoo on the outer coat working it evenly all over. Once I have the shampoo evenly worked over the outer coat, I take my bath brush and allow these knobby fingers to work the shampoo down to the skin. This helps me to not oversaturate his coat with shampoo and at the same time helps me to loosen up the undercoat, allowing it to brush out much easier. To rinse off the shampoo, again, I put my hose all the way down to the skin and allow the water to push the soap out of the coat from the skin out. This creates very little bubbles in the tub and it gets the dog rinsed much quicker. I am using Igram Squalling Care Conditioner. And again, I'm going to take my tub brush and brush this through the coat, getting it all the way down to the skin. Good boy, does that feel good? Does that feel good? He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that feels so good. I love you, Miss Suzanne. Oh yeah. Very important to rinse all conditioner and shampoo out of the dog's coat. You don't want any residue left in there at all. So typically I rinse twice as long as I think I need to. I use a good quality ear cleansing solution in the ears. I fill up each ear canal with the ear cleansing solution. Rub the base of the ears and allow the dog to shake his head. The purpose of the ear cleansing solution is to dry out any moisture that might have gotten into the ears to loosen up ear wax and to remove debris. After the bath, I wrap the Pomeranian in a towel, being sure to tuck his tail up under and hold him like this to soak up all the moisture instead of allowing anything to drip. We go straight to the drying table. I spread one towel out underneath the dog to catch any dripping moisture coming off the dog. It's very important to properly towel dry the dog, getting all dripping water off of the dog before you start brushing. When I brush, I'm going to use an Artero pin brush, an Artero long pin slicker, a Diane face comb, a Chris Christensen butter comb number 004, and a Chris Christensen butter comb number 006. I will start the blow dry with the pin brush.
She loves that doggy. Mm-hmm. I do. I love that Pomeranian. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Now that, 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 that. He has a lot of long flowy hair back here. So I feel a little unsafe using the nail grinding tool back on the back feet. So I am going to file these by hand. Don't want to get this beautiful tail caught up in the nail grinding tool. I'm going to use a 40 blade on a Heininger opal clipper for his pads. Next, I am using my Paw Brothers brush with the plastic tips on the tines and my Artero Fusion Curvy Shears for the feet. That's a good dog. All right. Now we're going to see how low will she go. Huh? How low will I go? I'm going to mist him over with Artero Mix conditioning spray. Because I am doing an all over haircut, I need to get this comb through his coat pretty good. But with a Pomeranian coat, you don't want to pull out or rip out all the undercoat. You don't want to do a heavy de-shedding treatment on them. You just want to make sure that the comb will pick through the coat. So I don't ever expect a comb to glide from the skin out on a palm, but I do expect it to pick out. See, it won't glide. So I go pick, pick, pick. Start down towards the skin, pick, 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 all over. 
And I'm wanting to lift this coat a bit up and out. So I never want to get into cutting where you see this red hair. The darker red color is coarse guard coat. It's the outer coat. And cutting into the outer coat can cause permanent damage to the coat. But this lighter, fluffier stuff, I can get into that without causing permanent damage on most Pomeranians. So I'm going to comb this up and forward. You can see where it's sticking out. And using my V3 chunkers, these are 22 teeth chunkers, I am going to skim off what's sticking out. Not going any shorter than the outer coat, the darker colored coat. Now here I'm going to comb this backwards and bring this light colored stuff up and out. Trim that. His entire pants are quite light colored. So I'm going to be able to trim quite a bit off here without ruining his overall look. So I am fluffing this up and out. I'm using my curved V3 chunkers. I'm going to round this in. Giving him a cute little Pomeranian booty. Don't want you touching my booty. Yeah. Don't touch my booty. Now this is a pet trim. This is not a show trim. If this were a show dog or a full coated Pomeranian, I would leave the full pants. So I'm just creating a cute little booty. If I ever take any length off the tail, basically I bring it up to the head and right about where the ears are is where I would cut that off if it starts to get too long. Hit boy. I know I gotcha. Now we're going to comb this hair up and back. that off. Comb this hair forward. You can see how it pokes out here, right? That's what we're trying to get is what's poking out here. Combing it up and forward. And back down. Now the underside I can take quite short without causing a whole lot of damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I am going to use a three and three quarter blade. And I'm gonna come straight down the middle. Just 
down the inside of the legs. Good boy. That'll help to set where I want to put my underline. So you can see this hair sticking up here because we trimmed the back end that has caused that to come up and out. To deal with that, I am using Jaguar thinning shears and I am going to just skim down over this with these thinning shears. This will give it a very natural appearance without giving you that chunked off color change here that you oftentimes see when you trim this area of a Pomeranian. With my shears backwards, we're coming up towards the center of the dog and then going right back down again. I love using chunkers on Pomeranians when I'm trimming them. Now we're going to work on the bib in front of the dog and the mane. To do this, I comb everything up and out. Push everything forward. And as you can see, this is all soft, lighter colored hair. So I can trim into this without creating a big problem. So I'm going to start on the underside with my curves backwards and start bringing this underline up here. And he wears bandanas and it pushes his bib up into his face. So we're gonna take a bit of this off. And with all of this pushed forward, I'm going to round it in this way, being careful of the ears. Anything that falls past the face here, I'm going to round out. You wanna lay down? You can lay down. Anything that falls past the face here, I'm gonna round out. Ooh, we have a thunderstorm going on. He's like, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 there's a thunderstorm. And then neaten up his little ears, making them round. Good boy. Now I'm just going to look for anything that's out of place.
So when looking at my Pomeranians from the side, I don't like the tail to fall down over the back end of the dog. So I am going to thin this up. This helps my Pomeranians to look very short backed with a very high set tail. It keeps the tail and the back side of the dog cleaner because you don't have anything for stuff to get stuck in. natural out this tail a little bit because I trimmed it and I don't want it to look overly trimmed even though I did trim it. Here you go home. Go bye bye. All right, Simba's got his bandana, and he's going to get a spritz of I Grum Fabulous Cologne, and he is all ready to go home. Right, Simba? Are you a little disappointed that I did not trim his hair any shorter than I did? This is the shortest that I will take a Pomeranian in my salon. Post-clipping alopecia is real. Cutting into the coarse guard hairs and outer coat can cause this in your Pomeranian. This is why I do not take them any shorter than I do. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.